All right, everyone, so we're going to try to plow through this pretty quickly. This one, this episode is now for adding videos to our layer controller for our graphic panels. So we can set textures and we can blend them in. Now let's go ahead and add the ability for videos as well. So for us to add the video, we're going to make another function called set video. So public void set video. We can copy the parameters from te set texture and paste it in here for our file path, transition speed, and blending texture. But let's also inject another boolean in here called use audio. And set that equal to true by default. So if our video has audio, then we'll want it to play along with the video if that is true. So let's copy the same exact information from set texture to paste in here only this time we're going to be loading a video clip and again if you want the video clip make sure you're using the unity engine.video namespace so let's go ahead and load the resources as a video clip and just call this clip so if clip is not a good to null let's say could not load graphic video from path please ensure it exists and then set texture. No, we don't want to set texture. Let's go ahead and copy the set texture, which uses the texture parameter, and paste it down here, but swap it out for a video clip. And we'll call this set video. And so then instead of texture, it'll be video clip. And we'll change text to video. Create graphic. We'll take in video and everything else is fine the way it is, only we are going to need to add in the use audio as well. So pool use audio equals true by default. And then we'll go ahead and pass this in, use audio, and then our blending texture. So instead of set texture, we'll use set video, and make sure that we also pass in the use audio boolean. There we go. So now it's going to try to apply a video to our object. But when we go to create the new graphic object, we're only creating one for a texture. So let's add another check. The only other kind of clip that we're going to have or graphic data is going to be a video. But just in case I decide to add some more in the future, I may go ahead and just say if graphic data is video clip. And also, even if I'm not going to add more in the future, this will still make it very obvious what we're dealing with. Then we'll say new graphic. Something's not right here. What is going on with that? If graphic data, oh, else, if, yeah. Then we'll go ahead and say new graphic equals new graphic object. And we're going to pass in the layer, the file path, and the graphic data as video clip. Now, currently that's going to give us an error because we don't have a new graphic constructor that takes a video clip. But let's go ahead and add that in here. So we'll go ahead and make a new constructor. And this one will take a graphic layer as well as a string for the graphic path and then a video clip for the video. And we can see if we look back at the graphic layer, that error is now cleared up. So how are we going to take care of this? First of all, we know that we can just assign the this same information. Let's go ahead and copy that into our new function. So we create, we assign the graphic path, we create the new object, and we add the raw image component to it. In fact, we can also assign the graphic name here as well, but change text to video.name. And now we're also going to in initialize the graphic. But now at this point, we need to start working with some video specific data. We need to assign a video player component to this, to this object so that way it can actually play the video. And the way the video player component is going to work is we're going to create a render texture for it, which that render texture will be assigned to our raw image. So we can get the video player to play its video to that render texture assigned to our raw image material and get it showing up on screen. So let's go ahead and create the render texture. Let's say that our render texture uh, this is going to be, we'll call it text. It will equal a new render texture. And we need to pass in the width and the height. So let's make sure that we are using mathf.round to int. 
and we'll take in the video dot width and then we also want to get the height so math f dot round to int then video dot height and the next thing we want is the depth and we could just set this to zero and zero just means that we're going to be using the default depth so nothing special and now let's go ahead and make sure that we assign this texture to our uh, renderer so again let's go ahead and grab these two lines and just paste them here so and i'll i'll move this up to the video name okay so now we've assigned the render texture to our renderer perfect so let's create the video player that way it can play the video let's make sure that we assign this into the video player parameter that we already defined above that way we can keep track of it if we need to so video is going to equal the renderer dot add component and we're going to add a video player Ooh, but since I called uh, our parameter video uh, it's trying to assign it to let me just rename video up here to clip okay so and then we'll change here to video so the assignment call that that makes a little more sense okay and now let's say video dot play on awake equals true and video dot source which is what it's going to be playing from is going to be the video source dot video clip you can either use a video clip or a url but in this case since we're passing in a clip directly we can just use the video clip that we've already uh, got so let's go ahead and assign that video clip dot clip equals clip and now let's set the render mode for the video player and we need to set this to the render texture mode that way we can actually make use of the texture we just created so video dot render mode will equal video render mode dot uh, render texture and now video dot target uh, texture equals our text that we just created and video dot is looping equals true so our video can loop next thing we need is we need to use audio which brings to mind we need to include a parameter up above to tell us whether we're going to use audio or not so let's add another parameter called use audio and let's go ahead and set video dot audio output mode will equal video audio output mode dot audio source as we'll be using an audio source to render the audio and audio equals video dot add component and we're going to add an audio source okay so by default our video is going to start at zero alpha and it's going to fade in it would make sense to me if we also had the audio start at zero volume and fade in along with the video rather than having one just be automatically at its maximum so let's go ahead and say that audio dot volume equals zero to start off with and simply if we are not using the audio then let's make sure that we set audio dot mute to true next in order to actually play the audio we need to associate the video player's audio output to the audio source that we've just created so we can say video dot set target audio source and we'll go specify zero for the track index which just means the first audio track in the clip any of your clips are probably just going to have one audio track so you'll be good using that number and then let's specify audio as the audio source for it to play this music onto now as we start this let's make sure that our video dot frame equals zero so we are ensuring we're starting on the very first frame and we'll say video dot prepare to prepare itself to play and then video dot play And now, of course, since we're using that parameter to use audio or not, we need to make sure that when we create the new graphic object, we also specify use audio for video as a parameter to be thrown in there. Actually, that came last, didn't it? So 
that will come use audio for video. There we go. Now inside of our resources graphics BG videos folder, we have three demo videos here for Fantasy City, Fantasy Landscape, and Nebula. So we're going to use Fantasy Landscape. Out of all three of these, Fantasy Landscape, you can clearly see the motion and you can also hear audio in it. So it'll be perfect for our test. The test, of course, is we will call layer.setVideo followed by the path of the video that we'd like to load. And there we go. Our video fades in and we can see that it is playing and we can even hear the audio. Now we can test out the audio by disabling it and setting the use audio to false and setting the transition speed to something very slow. So with audio set to false, we shouldn't hear anything. But interestingly, we do. We can see the transition speed is working, um, but we do hear the audio playing. Let's look at our layers. Background, layer zero, graphic fantasy landscape. Okay, and we can see the audio output mode is set to audio source. We do have the audio source set to the graphic. The graphic uh, audio source is muted and the volume is zero. But it does not look like the video source is recognizing it. For some reason, <clears throat> it's playing through direct. But if we disable it and re-enable it, then it seems to link back to the audio source. So that's interesting. Not sure if that's a bug or what, but I think I may have a fix for it. Since disabling and enabling it seems to resolve that bug, if you will, I'm not sure if that's what it is or if I'm missing a step here. What we can do is just say video.enabled equals false and then video.enabled equals true right after we've applied all of these settings. So that should disable and enable it again. And if we run that in Unity, we can see that now, yes, the audio is muted. Let's just go ahead and tell it to use the audio and leave the transition speed slow so we should hear the audio fade in slowly with the video. Actually, we won't, because we haven't done any kind of transition on the audio. So let's real quick come back to Graphic Object and go down to Fading. And when we're setting the opacity, we should also set the volume of the audio if we're using video. So let's go ahead and do a small check. If is video, which again is just checking if our video component is not null. So if is video, then we need to make sure that audio dot volume equals opacity as well. So this will ensure that the opacity and the volume are both together if we're playing a video. And yeah, we can see the audio is slowly fading in. We see that the alpha is still fading in quite a bit. There we go. Okay. So the audio and the alpha are both tied together. And of course, we can apply a blend texture to the video as well. And that will allow us to use that blend texture on the video. You can see what I meant by I'm not a very good shader writer, because even though it works, it could be much better. And the transition is not as nice as I would like it to be. I would like there to be more cutoff, but frankly that might just require a little more research. Or maybe someone in the comments knows how to do that. In which case, feel free to let us know, or join the Discord and uh, let us know there, make it a little better. But that's what I got. So that's good enough for this video. And in the next video, we're going to look at adding new images and fading out old ones, destroying the old ones, and just changing the images that are applied to the layers. So, without further ado, that's all, and I'll see you in the next one.